I am back. I recently got all my pickups swapped over. Uh, I played a little bit with the tone configuration and the dials. I wasn't happy with the first one I came up with, so this is my final result. Uh, what I did is I've taken the neck pickup and I put it on one dial, one of the tones, and the middle pickup on the other tone. I run them on individually. Uh, there is no master tone like originally, which was set up in the, the stock. Uh, and also I ran them on their own individual capacitors as well. So they got their own 10 uh, independent tone that way. So for my back pickup, I got a DiMaggio hot rail. Uh, went with that because I just wanted a different brand. DiMaggio has always been good. I've had it in other guitars I purchased. I was quite happy with it. So I decided to go with the hot rail there. I went with a Seymour Duncan, what they call a cool rail, which was what they, uh, gives it a smoother tone design specifically for the neck, uh, pickup. So that's what I went with that. And when I went for a middle pickup, I wasn't too sure of uh, what to use. Um, I looked up Lace, and Lace was the only one that actually kind of bragged about their middle position pickup, even though it's not a rail, it's just a single coil setup. They bragged about theirs. Nobody else, other companies, ever talked about the middle pickup. They always usually push the bridge in the neck. So I figured, yeah, I would try Lace in the middle. And that's the kind of uh, the setup I had. I could have went out and bought a set of one brand as a set, but I wanted to try to mix match different brands because I never really seen it done before and how the overall effect would be. So I'll give you an example. Uh, this is the bridge now. <laughs> blended between the middle and the bridge and some open chords up by itself just a neck pickup by itself.
and doing lead wise, lead on the bridge. Blended between the middle and the bridge. Neck by it, or middle by itself. Wanted to tone it out. And neck and middle. Tone out your middle. Just your neck. Blend it however you like. And your neck pick up by itself. It'll torn it out a bit. Which is pretty cool. Okay, now we'll kick on some distortion here. This is the bridge. I don't have the noise suppressor on now because I wanted to show the hum and it is a little bit cool, actually quite a bit quieter, but I think you still get a bit wingy once you put the drive on. suppressor does clean up really nicely. I could turn the threshold up a little more, but... Thank mm -hmm. you. 
anyways, I'm really happy with this setup. This is what I did. Uh, I recommend like mixing and matching and finding out with something for your own preference. Uh, you could just buy a set if that's really what you want to do. But I don't know. I encourage uh, doing your own thing. You know, and create something that's your own kind of blend. This is great. Works great for me. So I hope you're happy with that. It gives you a little bit of insight because when I went out there and looked, I tried to do research for mix match brands. Not too many people really talked about it. They said you can, but there was no videos or examples or any kind of sound. So I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, but hopefully this opens up that. Uh, mixing active and passive. I've heard it can be done, haven't done it. I might experiment with that. Uh, later on down the road with another guitar <laughs> and uh so i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it shone some light on uh, any questions you have if you have anything you'd like to ask or comments or whatever make some comments ask some questions uh and also my son says i never say <laughs> to subscribe you can subscribe if you want i don't plan on being an avid youtuber but Hope you enjoyed and hope this uh, shed some light on the subject. Thanks.